How's it going, boys? We just hit the water. Uh, we got me and the hunt man here. We're feeling good. Um, gonna fish some T-rigs, gonna try some topwater frog, just fishing or fishing reeds and, and cover and flipping some docks, but I don't know, searching for the five pounder, feeling good about it, but we'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. All right, boys, next dock. Got some reeds out there. So we're gonna see if we can find a pattern here or if it's just liquid mayhem that does the job. Apparently, that's what Hunter thinks. Golly, what a cast. Oh my gosh, you better turn that thing off. Really did. And that one too. See you for quite a while now, and I, there's a reason why Hunter's in the They got or no? Hammered that. I couldn't really tell because it, it went right into the reed. Yeah. I feel you, dog. I feel you. Probably that fucker. Right in the bottom of the mouth. Nice boys, first bass of the day. Hunter's been catching most of them. Struggling? Well, better safe than sorry is what I always say. Probably from those docks. Yeah. All right, boys, about a two-pounder. Really, look at that tail. I don't know what happened there, but... Yeah, apparently. But we'll get them back in. Catch some more. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Tell your friends. Gotcha. Pounder. Not even recording. Not terrible. And well, there goes my freaking craw. Dude, chill out. You think I'm gonna die? Well, I don't know. You're pretty close to touching both ends. That's true. Both terminals. All right, boys, about a two pounder. Second fish of the day. Gosh, can't believe I wasn't recording. But man, did he thump it hard. Thanks for fight, buddy. Tell your friends. And just die. Well, how'd he die? Oh, he laid his rod down on his battery and just died. Dude, I bet you I do have hip I was talking about like a watermelon color. What the? Because I have like a. He's, he's on the reeds. Come on. Ah. He probably came off. He did come off. Mother trucker, dude. Where the heck am I? I'm over here. All right, let's motor around the shoreline, see if we can find something. All right, boys, update. I have two fish, Hunter has five. We've missed a couple too, because they're pinning us in these reeds. So we have set the hook, they fight a little bit, and then they pin us in the reeds. And then they just come off the hook because the pressure's gone. So, but I'm, we're feeling hot. We found the pattern, T-rig or weightless in the reeds which I found that last time. But we tried it on some reason, it just didn't work when we first got here. So we thought they might have changed because it's a little windier. But then we came to these reeds and I was like, might as well tie up a T-rig and Hunter tied up weightless and just started pounding them. So, so yeah, but I should probably back out of here. 
But we've made a couple rounds around these reeds and we're still catching them. Oh, that's not gonna be a good cast. So we'll keep you guys updated, but we're feeling hot, we're feeling ready. All right, boys, we're in the wind. This could get, this could get raunchy. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. There's an entire flat right here, boys. And it's just straight reeds. And we might go overboard. <laughs> if I ever come out here again, which I definitely will. Probably come out here with Sam. Hooked oh, up, boys. He's pretty good. There goes my craw. All right, chill out. All right, chill out. All right, chill out. All right, chill out. Boys, that's what we like to see, another one and a half pounder. Let's get back in there. All right, boys, We're calling it a day. It's a little windy for our taste, but it's currently 9.35. Started what, five o'clock? So just for like four and a half hours or so. So we caught a couple fish. I want to say Hunter beat me in the challenge. There was really no challenge, but he beat me in numbers today. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching another Cranked Outdoors video. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything special. Thanks for watching. Deuces!